What is going on everyone? My name is Shaq Mac and today I am doing a little recap, a little tip video for you guys. I did a tutorial yesterday, today's the tips. We are doing the new historic spotlight sim that is coming out tomorrow, or at least for me tomorrow. For you guys, I don't know when you're watching this, but it is coming out very, very soon. Nonetheless, it does not matter. It, time zones don't matter. It's just coming out soon, all right? Stop questioning me. But today, I am going to be going through all of the new updated cards, the roster update for today that we are getting for the Historic Spotlight Sims. We now have all the Historic Spotlight Sims in the game. In doing so, we now get to see the cards that have been added and look at their, look at their stats, which includes three Galaxy Opals, which is very, very good. Good, with an absolutely overpowered one, which I'll show more about, but we're gonna go through some of the notable ones while I looked go down through here. I'm just gonna show you out of all these which ones are my favorites and which ones I'm probably gonna be going for first, and the ones I suggest you guys going for first too. And I have my reasons behind all of it, and I think you guys will enjoy it. We've got all these new pink diamond cards that we're getting as rewards for grinding out the game. We've also got a bunch of now CPU players, just these random ones. Robert Reed, Gus Gerard, my favorite player in the game, Kevin Porter, of course, another favorite, you know, the usuals that we all know and love. <laughs> but we are going to go through all the pink diamond ones first, then we're going to go through the reward ones afterwards, and then I'm going to tell you what my plan is, so you guys have an idea as to what I'm going to do. I'm sorry if my face cam gets in the way of any of it. Anyways, I will be saying it out loud so you guys can still get ahead. But first one we are going to go to. Right here we have Pink Diamond Steph Curry. Now, first thing that comes off the mind for a lot of people is defense. Maybe not the greatest. However, I disagree. Perimeter defense, 88 as much as I'd like that to be higher. He does have a 94 steal and 97 reaction time. 94 lateral quickness. So he can play defense when needed. He, of course, also has really good shooting stats. 99 three-point shot. That's an obvious reason why you'd want to grind out for him. He has a 95 shot close. Shot mid is a 94. As well as that, he's quite fast, both with the ball and without. He can't dunk, which is fine because his driving lap is a 97. And if it's Steph Curry, you'll probably want him to take three with him the majority of the time. Now, this one, not going to be the first one I go for, but a notable one, definitely for sure. He looks interesting. I think he could be all right. I, I definitely believe he's worth it a lot more than the Galaxy Opal. That one costs a ton. This one is free. And if we're going off the historic spotlight sims, it's only going to be five games to get him. And that's not going to be difficult whatsoever. However, if I'm correct, if I'm guessing they're going to up the difficulty of playing these games in order to get him. So I think you're going to see a lot more Hall of Fame games. And you're not going to get this card easy. It's going to be a test. Obviously, without already all the restrictions in place with how many players you need in the game, it's going to be difficult already. But I think we should be fine. Stephen Curry, he's going to be out there. And hopefully, it'll be a good card. Because I think this year's Stephen Curry cards have been kind of crappy. So, a good Stephen Curry card for free would be very, very nice. But we're going to go to the next one, which is Pink Diamond Jack Sigma. Now, I realize I didn't show you the badges for Stephen Curry, but... It's pretty much all the obvious ones. I believe he has gold clamps. He does have Hall of Fame Ranger Tender, Hall of Fame Quick Draw, all the normal ones you expect from a Stephen Curry, all the really good shooting ones. And I'll just show you very quickly badges. We go down here, and if I'm correct, he has gold clamps. Yeah, not too many defensive badges, and that's why he's not the first one I'm going to go for, because defense... A bit of a letdown in terms of badges. Jack Sigma, we'll go to him now. Center, six foot eleven. So not the tallest center. Looks like a very good card, as you can see here. For a six eleven player, having a ninety five three point shot is very very nice. Ninety five shot close, ninety four shot mid, and just look at all the green on his side of things. It's very very nice. He's got a lot of post moves. He's got a lot of post in there. Quite fast with an eighty one, but when he gets the ball, only a seventy six. So just almost a traditional center, or at least a, uh, a center. And nowadays, he fits in perfectly with a good three-point shot. His inside scoring is fine. Playmaking doesn't matter too much for a center, especially of him. Defending interior defense is at a 97, and a perimeter defense is at an 84, which is not bad for a six foot 11 dude. His lateral quickness is also an 84. His block is an 88, and steals an 84. So a lot of really good stats and rebounding in total is tallied up to a 94, with a 93 offensive rebound and 95 defensive rebound. Now, again, I'm getting put every card a bit higher than I usually would with a normal card in this game because they're free, man. And usually cards like this are preserved 
for payment and like behind a pay to win wall. You know what I mean. Usually you have to spend a lot of MT to get a card like this. But this one's completely free. It's like the Cameron Reddish. They, the Cameron Reddish for the original Spotlight Sim series was incredible incredibly good and to get it for free just made it so much better this kind of like that just as much as the next ones but we're gonna check his badges first he's got back down punisher which i don't see many cards having nowadays but a lot of finishing badges are mainly in the gold and he only has two finishing hall of fame badges shooting badges here you can see he's got catch and shoot corner specialist flexible release green machine hot start hot zone hunter pick and popper quick draw and range extender for a 6 11 center for free, this, this game has gone down the shitter with all the <laughs> incredible cards you can get for free now. It's almost impossible to gain an advantage over a person with purely cards. You have no excuse to be using at least a full squad of pink diamonds or solid budget ballers nowadays because there's so many free pink diamonds and galaxy opals you can get now. It's ridiculous. But Tyler Shooter and Volume Shooter along with that, he's got uh, things in gold such as Clutch Shooter and Diff. Difficult shots, but it does not matter too much. This card also has a few playmaking badges as well as Dimer, Hall of Fame Dimer, which is really, really good. He's got a lot of uh, good playmaking badges, but Dimer is probably the most. Actually, no, Post Spin Technician would also be there as well. I think that's a pretty important one too. But a hell of a lot of defensive and rebounding badges. As you can see, however, though, he does have gold clamps again, but as a center, it doesn't matter as much as someone like Stephen Curry when he's playing in the perimeter most of the time. However, it would be very helpful if this card did have Hall of Fame clamps, but it is a free card and it's something that you can get within five games. You're not going to get everything you want with a card like this, but you're definitely getting a lot, that's for sure. Now we're going to Jeff Petrie. Now this card was a budget baller. His Amethyst early on in the year, ridiculous. A very, very, very good card. And as you can see here, he's only a 94 three-point shot. It's the lowest out of the three we've looked at so far, including the center, but that does not matter. His jump shot from his Amethyst should be coming over to his pink diamond and that jump shot is money so a 94 absolutely works and for this one his defense incredible 95 perimeter defense 92 steel 94 lateral quickness this is what i like to see with a card like this i love looking at cards with good defensive stats good defensive badges and they're the most important ones in 2k do not let anyone tell you different badges defensive specifically are the most important in the game absolutely clamps you need it. You can't live with a card without clamps, otherwise he's getting destroyed all game. But as you can see here, quite fast, both with and without the ball. An 88 ball handle, so he can do those speed boosts when you need him to. Just a more upgraded version of the budget baller. Now this one, more of a budget baller. Literally free if you have the cards. However, Portland Trailblazer cards have been selling for a lot more now. I sold two, and usually they go for about one and a half, maybe 2K if I'm lucky. These ones went for 3K, so they are going to be a little bit more expensive. You really have to hope that you have those Trailblazer cards on you. I do, thankfully. Things like the Brandon Roy card, very helpful. A lot of people have picked up that this Jeff Petrie is going to be very, very deadly when it first comes out, so probably the first one I'm going to go for out of all of them. We're going to look at his badges now. He's got a lot of finishing badges, a lot of shooting badges his quick draw is a gold that's the only thing i may want to point out he's still got a bit of a slower jump shot but i believe the amethyst didn't have a hall of fame uh, quick draw either so i'm gonna quickly check that gold quick draw so just the same quick draw that we had before and so for a lot of people it does not matter that he has gold quick draw he's still gonna be ridiculous and difficult to come up against so we have that he has hall of fame dimer he's got a bunch of uh playmaking badges nothing too crazy but here we go finally a card with hall of fame clamps as well as interceptor and intimidator and pickpocket and pick dodger so a lot of helpful very very helpful hall of fame badges there for jeff petrie the original budget baller for this year um definitely someone who i'm going to try and pick up next we have michael finley and this is going to be the last one of the pink diamond rewards the five game rewards that i'm going to be looking at now this card again very very good in my opinion with a six foot seven height and a lot of very good badges and stats as at a shooting guard position he is he has a 95 three-point shot a lot of high 90s a lot of mid low 90s but that's really important in this game at this point in the year they need to have 90s however the only thing is 
not too speedy. However, just speedy enough that he makes it. So as you can see here, he has an 86 speed with ball, 86 ball handle, which is literally on the verge of not being able to speed boost. So he can do that with all the other badges and attributes. And he has a 93 perimeter defense, a 94 lateral quickness, and an 81 steal. So not good, a not good steal, unfortunately. But he does have good interior defense nonetheless. So he can make up for it there. However, if we go down to his badges, he also has Hall of Fame clamps, so there's nothing really to worry about there. At this point in the game, a lot of gameplay is kind of predicted off of badges and played off of badges. So, as you can see here, I'm going to go through all of these shooting badges as well. He's got Hall of Fame Quick Draw and Range Extender, Green Machine, also got Finishing, a lot of good finishing badges. And yeah, so this card, very, very nice. Tight handles, quick first step. A lot of badges that can make this card deadly. Not the first one I'm going to go for, as I said before, but definitely a good one. Now we get to the rewards cards. As you can see here, Galaxy Opal Chris Mullen. This card, a lot of really good things about it. First off, a six foot seven small forward. 99 three point shot. Very, very helpful. Just like Steph Curry, except he can play a good defense as well. A lot more greens you can see on this card. He has a 96 lateral quickness, 94 perimeter defense, 89 steel, and 80 interior defense. So overall, his defense perfectly fine. He has 91 speed with ball and 86 ball handle. So that's pretty much the only thing I can really point out for this card is that he's on the verge of not having that speed boost with his ball handle. Just kind of suck, but at the same time, 99 three-point shot. I am more than happy to get rid of his uh, an uber fast ball handle and speed boost if he can knock down the shot 24-7. He's pretty fast without the ball anyway, so he can make his work off the ball too. Now we go to his badges. He's got 40 of them. He's got a lot of really, really nice badges. If we go to the shooting, almost every single one is a Hall of Fame except for deep fades. And for a small forward to have deep fades is always nice. He's got quick draw and range extender. He's got hot zone hunter, flexible release. He's got things like catch and shoot, clutch shooter, dead eye, green machine, volume shooter, bunch of Awesome, really, really good badges here. So let's pick and pop up, which I'm more than happy to have. Playmaking, he's got Dymo. He can set up his teammates really, really well. He's got floor general with gold. Quick first step is always helpful. Downhill, just as helpful. Die handles too. He's got gold unplugable, thankfully. And we go to the defensive and rebounding badges. Hall of Fame clamps. I think at this point, every Galaxy Opal needs to have Hall of Fame clamps. Otherwise, there's no point in having it. I think D Dirk Nowitzki didn't have... The Galaxy Apple version of him didn't have Hall of Fame clamps, which just took me by surprise. I don't know why he didn't have Hall of Fame clamps, but it's safe to say that his price has tanked because of it. And Chris Mullen, he has Hall of Fame clamps, so... Good chance a lot of people are going to try to go for him. And definitely a card you want to grind out for. However, here is a card that a lot of people say they want to grind out first, which is a Galaxy Opal Gilbert Arenas. Now, Gilbert Arenas cards have always been very, very nice in 2K. As you can see here, 97 three-point shot. So a knockdown, absolute money three-point shot. Nothing too scary to worry about there. As we also go to his defense, 97 perimeter defense. 97 lateral quickness, 97 steel, man. That's a lot of 97s on the defensive end. I've got nothing to complain about there. And of course, as it is Gilbert Arenas, so damn speedy. 97 speed, 97 speed with ball, 98 ball handle. So be boost out of the world. You don't even understand how crazy this card will be. So definitely a card you want to grind for, even just looking at his, at his attributes. But we go to his badges here, just like Chris Mullen. He's got 40. Hall of Fame badges and a lot of really really good ones you go to quick draw brand new extender dead eye green machine flexible release catch and shoot difficult shots volume shooter tireless shooter he's got here a bunch of good finishing badges like acrobat giant slayer pro touch literary finisher relentless finisher everything you want there playmaking you got diamond to set up his teammates as gilbert arenas is a point guard and at this point most galaxy apple point guards have hall of fame diamond if not there's kind of something you're missing hall of fame unpluckable which is really good for people who want to try and isolate and make the most of that so people who get caught spamming are going to be foul a lot more or going to be fouling a lot more you've got gold uh, hall of fame quick first step as per usual also got gold bailout uh so the people who were shit now have a reason to use him. <laughs> Defensive and rebounding. Of course, Hall of Fame clamps. He needs it. I think every Galaxy Apple needs it, like I've said before. Intimidator, pickpocket, pogo stick. A lot of Hall of Fame badges here. Only thing I'm kind of disappointed is Interceptor is gold, and so is Defensive Leader. I guess most cards don't even have this have this badge anyway, so I guess it's good to have it. But I would have liked him to have Hall of Fame Defensive Leader. But nothing to stress about. Let's get to the 
overall reward of this collection, which is Galaxy Opal Hakeem Elijah One. Man, this card is ridiculous. I'm going to go to his attributes here. Seven foot, just an absolute beast of a card, man. This is going to be the free Galaxy Opal Shaquille O'Neal, man. He's got 82 speed with ball. He can almost speed boost. If you put a shoe on him, he can speed boost. Nothing else said. Ridiculous card. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 X strength, 92 vertical. Just a bunch of amazing stats here. So much green, it's ridiculous. A 94 three point shot. I can't get over for Hakeem Elijah one. And obviously, his defense overall. What more can be said? It is Hakeem Elijah one. He cannot be stopped. Rebounding all 98s. I am going to grind my ass off for this card. I don't care what anyone says. This is definitely one that is worth a grind. We're going to go to badges here and just tell me what badge you think. What's the first badge you want in a card? Okay, cool. He's got it. Don't worry. <laughs> He's got so many Hall of Fames. He's got 44 Hall of Fames, including Quick Draw and Range Extender. Please tell me why we have this in fucking April. Like, can't we wait till about a month or two months before the next game is released before we give these cards out for free? Jesus, man. He has clamps. He has pick dodges. Like, look at all the Hall of Fame defensive badges he has, man. Ridiculous. I'm not even going to go through it too much into depth. Just know he is a car that is worth the grind. Go for your first pink diamonds. Go for the ones you want like Jeff or Michael Finley or Jack Sigma or Steph Curry. It really does not matter. Go for any card you want. Just know at the end of the day, this is worth it. This is absolutely worth it. Go nuts for this card. Another Rockets player that I just remembered. It seems to be Rockets are the cards that are coming out with these uh, collections. So just incredible stuff. Definitely excited for all of it. If you enjoyed this video and kind of have an idea of where you want to go, please be sure to leave a like. I'm going to let you guys know right now that I'm going for the Western Conference side first. I think having Gilbert Arenas would be good and I'm definitely okay with getting him second over Chris Mullen because Chris Mullen, taller, can shoot, can speed boost. He's got the 86, so that's good enough for me. And he has a 99 three-point shot. I just hope his jump shot's fine. That's the only thing I'm looking out for and making sure that they haven't ruined his jump shot because I have not tested one out this year. I have not tested one, tested one out. So definitely going to be something I'm looking out for. Definitely something I'm going to be grinding my ass off for. Hopefully I don't bail out and screw up like I did with the spot, the current spotlight sim because man, that thing is a grind. I need to get it done quick and early. Otherwise, I'm going to drive myself insane. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below any video ideas, suggestions, and constructive criticism. And subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. This is going to be an absolute grind. Make sure to stay uh, up to date. Follow my Twitch as well because my Twitch, I'm probably going to be streaming majority of the time to try and get all these spotlight, historic spotlight sims done because it's going to be a grind. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.